okay now welcome to this example so now a body of mass 3 kilogram is attached to the hook of a spring balance so this spring balance also is just like a lift so just like a lift if you see if you if you read the questions you you will eventually see what a lift and the latter is vertically from the roof of a lift determine the reading on what on the spring balance in what i told you what what are they asking us to do so we're asking us to find r i hope you understand so we are going to find what r so determine the reading on the spring balance when the lift is what ascending i think you get the logic ascending so they ask us when it is ascending what's the formula when it is ascending i told you that whenever it is ascending your w will be minus will be equals to ma then your r will now be what mg plus ma let's substitute for the value what's our m you know that g is constant right 10 meter per second squared so what is my m our m is given already three times okay let's do it like this let's say m is what g plus a what is my m my m is three what is my g my g is 10 what is my a my a is what 0 0.3 so we're now having what three times 10.3 so at the end of the day we are going to be having so you can use some thing let me quickly so our answer will now be what 30.3 in what in newton so that's our answer i told you that normal reaction is measured in newton that is your readings it should be what it should be in newton so now let's go to descending so you already know that the formula for descending is what r is equals to mg minus ma so you just substitute for the value we now have in m into g minus a what is our uh what is our m so that's 3 10 minus 0 0.3 so at the end of the day we are going to be having um that would be 3 into 10 minus 0 0.3 oh sorry our acceleration here is what 0 0.2 so we're not going to be using it depends on the acceleration you are given it's not it's not that like you'll be using the same acceleration for life so let me change this so we have what 0 0.2 here so we now have 10 minus 0 0.2 so that will be uh 9.8 so 3 times 9.8 so that's around uh 28 let me use my calculator because I don't want to guess. So that's around 29.4. So that's around 29.4. So that's our answer. So that's around 29.4. Let me rub it, sorry. So 29.4. In what? In Newton. So that's our answer. Now let's go to the last scenario. So let me rub this away. So the the last question, which is a number C now we don't even need to waste our time they said ascending a uniform what velocity i told you that whenever there is what uniform velocity or constant speed what is going to happen to your acceleration so your acceleration will be what zero so that's not all don't stop to your question here we have not we are not we have not finished what we are doing so it's now going to be what our r now is you know that it is ascending so it is what mg plus ma so we are going to substitute for the value of a so we now have what's our m that's three times oh okay let me bring it out g plus a so we're now having what three into ten plus what's our a zero so we're now having what three times ten 
so that's what 30 newton so that's our answer so i hope you understand so that's it so that's that for this question let's move to another question so so this is another question so yeah they didn't use lift so you need to know other name for lift that a lift also is an elevator so now they said at times they will not ask you readings on the on the uh on the spring balance or lifts they will say tension whenever they ask you tension tension is the same thing as r please take note of that so whenever they ask you to find tension in this in the suspending cable you are finding what r so don't run away when you see tension so don't let them use that one to to just cajole you so an an elevator of mass 1200 kilogram moves vertically downward with an acceleration of 1.0 meter per second square don't forget that our g is constant so they now ask us to find what tension so tension i've told you that is the same thing as your heart if you look at this they didn't say ascending but they just say vertically downward you should know that vertically downward is the same thing as what descending they are just using mere english don't let them use english to 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 to, to, to confuse you so just mere english so the same thing as defend, uh, descending why vertically upward so it's the same thing as is the same thing as ascending so don't be confused when they use a grammar so just mere grammar don't let them use it to confuse you so that's that so now let's do the question they said vertically downward what's the formula for vertically downward that's r is equals to mg minus m a so what is our m okay let's bring our m out so they now what's our m so that's 1200 what's our g that's 10 what's our Hey, that's one so we're now having 1200 times nine so at the end of the day we are having 108 and zero zero in what newton the unit of unit uh, normal reaction is what so you can now say the tension in the suspending cable so it's what 1000 So your answer may be in kilonewton. So for you to convert to kilonewton, just divide by 1000. So we just get, uh, that will be 10.8 kilonewton. Or something, yes, 10.8 kilonewton. So take note of that. So that's that for this uh, topic.